Is there any plant this way? Go ahead. Well, if you're if I bring some bagels. Yes, yeah, so I'll bagels. Yeah. Yeah. And you can take a few of the trays over here. We don't have that many eaters here this yeah. morning. Oh, there. Yeah. 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 Yeah
The Gemara talks about it. The people who planned it. The problem is, oh, the problem is that the Gemara says it's shahakul. The Gemara says because the people that are planting it are very angry. He spoke about this cloud that there's three dargis in the farmer. One is that he's happy. If he's happy about these fruits growing, the bracha that fruit is bari priyayitz. If he's not so happy, but it's tofu, it's bari priyadama. If, if he's angry, it's shakul ni And well, that's his gemara. Why would he grow if he's angry? Oh, well, that's well, so what the gemara says. So this is the classical case. The gemara says about the palm tree that if someone comes and cuts uh, the heart of the palm, so the farmer, smoke is coming out of his ears. He says, I could have had a true tree that grows for 25 years and give me true fruit. And you cut one piece of palm like this and you had yourself a nice lunch and you ruined the tree that could grow for 25 years. <laughs> what a chutzpah. Smoke is coming out of his ears. So because smoke is coming out of his ears and he's angry, because farmer Joe was angry, so the bracha fell down from being a very priya a shakomi a bitvori. That's what the Gemara says. That's what the Gemara says. But obviously things are different today because today it's a, it's a multi-million dollar industry and especially in Brazil. And uh, they, uh, they cultivate uh, these palms. But uh, Bamba says, I explained for a Shabbos, today, many countries, it's, it's illegal to just chop down trees. You can't just chop uh, because of deforesting, before, because of many concerns of uh, and many of them very valid concerns very valid concerns um so the technique today is uh, on many trees like i explained shabbos that the, if you want firewood you can't just chop down a forest there's a technique they they cut down the trees and they cover it with sand and within six months you have like six to eight shoots that come out and they grow and then you're allowed to harvest it and you, every six months you get you get a ton of in 40 years you get a thousand times the amount of wood than had you just planted a forest and then chopped down all the cheese and wait another 40 years. Um, so all, if all you need is wood chips, all you need is um, uh, firewood, uh, some countries it's illegal to just, you can't just go chop down a forest because you want some firewood. Mm -hmm. Fire, uh, maybe if you want wood for you know Home Depot, furniture that's different, you have no choice. Uh, but there's uh, regulations about this. The same thing with the palm tree, that you can't just take a regular palm tree and just go chop it down because you want to you wanna sell a can of hearts of palm. There is a specific type of palm tree that they grow. They grow actually 12 or 24 at the same time. And every, uh, every, uh, 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 every season they harvest them and the tree doesn't dry. It's a certain type of palm that after you, you, the Gemara talks about a palm tree, that when you cut the, the heart of the palm, finito complete the lacomedia, it's over. It, the, the tree is finished. But, uh, but uh, the, today in Brazil, the countries that, that, uh, that are in the industry of cultivating hearts of palm, that's not what they do. There's a special type of, of palm that if you cut the heart of palm, it doesn't kill the tree. Six months later, new shoots come up. And they grow that way for 30 years or something. They grow for many, many years. Every season, they harvest it again and again and again. And nothing dies. You have another, they harvest the heart of the palm. And then another, another, uh, another 24. In fact, they have to harvest it. You can't, because they're like 24 trees growing in one cluster. They wouldn't, you know, that, that's, that's, that's the way it's planted for this reason. And, they, and, they, and that's, that's the industry of the hearts of palm. So going back to the Gemara. The Gemara said that Kuda, the hearts of palm, that, uh, and we'll learn the Gemara soon inside, that if a farmer, Joe, smoke is coming out of his ears, he's angry. I planted a young tree, it should last for 25 years and give me fruits. What did you do? For one lunch, you cut down my tree? It used to be called, the hearts of palm used to be called a rich man's salad because it was very expensive. It was very expensive. Very expensive. Can you imagine? It's a whole, it's a tree. It's a whole tree they cut down. This is basically an entire tree. So uh, it used to be very expensive. Well, the center, yeah, the center, it's one it's one thing. But that's how it's called a rich man salad. This is five or six. Uh, nah, this is, it, it grows like this. They cut it. This. this is about one tree. But by the way, in New York, it's against the law to, to chop down a tree. Uh, and people get ticketed all the time. Right. 
uh, especially if it's in the front, because somebody will see it. Even to trim a tree right. that's in your front yard, that's an isser. So I was in a movie, and they had to chop down some young trees in order to take a shot. In other words, the tree yeah, yeah. was in front of where they shot. So I asked them, I said, um, wh what do you do? When, once you chop down a tree, you know, in New York, that's a problem. And he said, we have to replant the tree right. in order to replace the tree that we chopped down. Right. So, so that's the, a little tree. Right. Right. Big. So that's the, that's, that's, uh, it'll be some very relevant to what I want to talk about, the halacha of it. So let's just go straight into yeah, it. Let's read inside. Yeah. The forest about cutting down the trees and the young farmer and all, he's also upset that they're cut down from the lava of this one. No, but Lula is part of it. Um, He's angry. He didn't plant the tree for you to have lunch. Down. He's angry. He didn't plant the tree for you to have you lunch. You don't cut a tree and put together Lula. Lula goes from the top of the tree. Let's read a little bit inside. Um, if you if you don't have a booklet, let me know. You want a booklet? Sure. And this this a safe of Azoy Sabrocha. There's a safe of Azoy Sabrocha. He writes like this: Shai Lamaya Brocha Sure. Sure. English hearts upon Chuva. He writes like this: Move the Gemara. The Gemara says, and the place can bring some age dollar. Atam the Varchim Akura Shakl. Mishum the law not to the incha die to the Kura kima die to the Tzmari. So maybe the, the question is that in the Gemara says that Farmer Joe is angry and therefore the Baruch of the hearts of Farmer Shahakul. But now Farmer Joe is happy. In a good harvest, he makes a couple of hundred thousand dollars. So he's very happy. The, the 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 maybe he's even happier now because my kids love hearts upon. And up to recently it was on sale, you can get it for a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty-nine. And now the cheapest I can get it is two dollars and twenty-nine cents. So Farmer Joe is even happier today. So uh so 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 why shouldn't the Baracha be Baide Priyaits? And he says like this his opinion is to make Bode Priyadama. That's the way he writes in his Brachas chart. Why? He has three reasons. When you cut it, the Dekel tree dies. Um, that, uh, that the Gemara says that, uh, that, uh, that what's the simon of a tree? That after you take the tree, the fruits off, that the, the tree stays from year to year. In this three-way machloikis, what that means, which part of the tree has to stay from year to year. But uh, there is the, the shit that's the that says that the, the whole trunk has to stay. And the third shit that says even the 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 the, the leaves that the branches have to stay. And here you cut it off. Um I mean, I, I think that's a very schwach argument. It's a very schwach argument for two reasons. When the Gemara is only giving you a simon, what's a tree? It, what happens if it, if it's any type of tree, say, that gives a fruit? In, in Some trees give fruits in 10 months, yeah? Say I, I harvest the fruit after 10 months and I chop down the tree. It's illegal, but I did it. Yeah, I chopped down the tree. So the bracha on that apple is going to be now Adama because I chopped down the tree? I, that just sounds off to me. That's yeah, it's, it's, and it, and if and if I did it before the fact, I cut the tree and then I took down the apple. You'll you know you'll agree that the apple is adama. I think that's off the wall. That is absolutely off the wall to say such a svara. The gemara is saying a simon. What's an elam? Like the story with the tzimot tzaddik. He wanted to once give a marshal of a sibar masubim. So he said that the the bee, that the the in the old days. How did they know if it's going to rain? And the cat used to come into the house and go under the oven. They knew it's going to rain. <laughs> so they, so they, there was a chokhem that was not raining for a long time. So they said, "What's the problem? Take all the cats and put them under the ovens. So it'll start to rain." Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you can't put the cat under the oven and then it'll start to rain. There's a, there's a, there's the, there's the reason, there's the cause and there's effect. The, 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 just because you, you activate the effect, you won't bring the cause to happen. Just because you put the cat under the oven, you're not going to make it to the rain. Mm -hmm. So uh, same thing here. Uh, the, what's a simon of what's a tree versus what's a vegetable? Uh, if it lasts from year to year, it doesn't wither in the winter. But uh, just because you cut a young tree after its growth of six months, it doesn't mean that it's not a tree. So, and besides the fact that today, most of the hearts of palm come from a certain type of tree, that the fact is that it doesn't die. In the time of the Shast, and even today, most palms, if you let it grow, the heart of palm, you cut it, it's, you kill the tree. But these hearts of palm that we have today, because of the regulations, they don't want people cutting down trees. So it's a type of thing that it, it won't die. It doesn't die. It gives, it gives every season, it grows again. So that, that, that's not an argument altogether. The second argument that he gives is like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, based on the words of the Bahag. Based on the words of the Bahag. Based on the words of the Bahag, Shehetik Lushayna Bebir Alacha, Semen Reish Beis, Kot Sif Tezbov. That uh, it's in the last Bir Alacha in Semen, the Mishnah Brur and Semen Reish Beis. Shekosav Lavorach Alkoni Atzukar, Beri Pri Adom, Afal Gav De Eitzu, Kivin De La Peri Mefek, Vela Pri Kochlinen, Lo Mes Amr Lam Beri Pri Oetz. So it's a it, the, the 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 he yeah, quotes a bal alochas gedolos. Why should there's a machloekis in sugar cane? Sugar cane, sugar cane is boide priha eats boide priha dama or shachal niya bedvari. Toisva says that the pasuk says a chal tiyari im divshi. So therefore, sugar sugar cane cotton candy candy is boide priha eats. If you had a candy in the days of Toisva. Yeah. You made boide priya eights and a candy. You made shahakul, they thought you were off the wall. A candy in the days of toys was, was boide priya eights. Cotton candy was boide priya eights. No, the, the toys says tsuke, tsuke. You can't make a mistake. And what's his rai? Because the post says in shira shirim, a healthy yari in dipshi. What's the rai from toys? So I have to see if there's any maforshim that talk about this. Maybe I look in the Masifta Gemara, but I think the Pashtun is because the Pasuk says, Shosisi Yeni. It says, Ochalti Yarim Divshi, Shosisi Yeni. So when it comes to Yarim Divshi, is Ochalti. I ate, I didn't drink it. The wine I drank. It's the Charaya, that the sugar, even though sugar is made into a liquid and then it's, then it's made into crystals. But because the Toyota says, the Pasuk says, Achalti Yari in the Divshi, Shasisi Yaini, is that I, uh, that uh, it's considered Achila, not Shtia, and therefore the Baruch and the I think that's a Pshat and Taisa. I don't know. But then there is, uh, the Rambam brings, that most of uh, the Gainam said, some of the Gainam said it's Baruch and the most of the Gainam said it's Baruch and the And I say, Shahak Pumi Um So, so, so the, 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 the Balalachas Gedolus, which is one of the, the records, the sheet of the Goinim, and he explains that the, the, the opinion that says it's eight Saddam are not really arguing. They both agree that it's a tree because that's, that's really sugarcane. Sugarcane are trees. That's exactly what it is. Sugarcane are trees. So why does one, some of the Goinim say are eight and some say are dumb? Because the Goinim said, yes, it's a tree. But when do you eat the fruit that grows off the tree? But if you eat the actual tree, if you eat the actual tree, that's But that, that, it's not that that's so the, the opinion that says and and not arguing if bamboo shoots, um, sorry, um, sugar canes are which look like bamboos, um, are, are are a tree or not a tree. They both agree it's a tree. The Shaila is. It, when, uh, if you eat the fruits off the trees, for sure, but if you eat the actual tree, what's the baracha? Sure. Is the tree. It's a tree. I would say beyond that, that you say by brachos that it, the, the food is transformed 
and you no longer see the shape the form of the of the item, then you say shahakal. So like apple right, 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 right. You can't see right. the apple at all. You make right, shahakal. Right, right. So I would think the same thing. If you're eating that's one uh, way uh, some uh, people uh, explain. Uh, that's one way some people explain the shit of the Rambam. It's a little bit shallow because some people because because if it was planted for that reason, it doesn't matter. It's mashed up. Okay. So. But some people that you, you some people do say that uh, that's the shit of the Rambam, and why he thinks it's shahakal. So the Rambam but, says that you have two choices how to eat it: either the way you eat it, or right. the way you eat it. You could eat it both ways. Right. It's like apple. Every could eat apple. Right. Will make a much much shahakal. Yeah. So you have, you have a spoonful of sugar. It's a it's a tablet. It's like a spice. It's not like the sugar cane. That no, you it's not a spice because but it's I mean, different it's, because spices like we spoke yesterday about spices. No one eats a spoonful of spice. No one yeah. eats a spoonful of kimmel. There's never a song a spoonful of kimmel makes the medicine go down. There's no such a thing. It's only a spoonful of sugar makes yeah. the medicine go down. So therefore, sugar, you can't say, is like tvolum, that we're not planted to eat the actual sugar. People like to eat actual sugar. There's actually the sugar cubes. Exactly. Sugar cubes. Yeah. The old timers used to love it. Still, yeah. still get them. Huh? Still, get them. You still get them, right. So you can't say that uh, it's uh, considered like tvol. That you can't say. The swara you said before is a good swara. That uh, since it's been cooked and made into liquid and doesn't look like the original form, like the same form. So that 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 might be the swara of the Rambam. But they don't agree with that. They also knew how to learn the Goinim. And they, they might have said, oh, look, but that's the reason why it was planted. Okay. So, so uh, back to what he's saying. So he's saying like this. He's saying like this. That the 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 Mishnah Bruda says the Mishnah Bruda says the Mishnah Bruda says that uh, that the the Goinim, that he brings from the Bahag that the it's a tree true cane is a tree but the problem is he eating the actual thing. So the Mishnah Bruder says that the Rambam holds it goes on one more step. Why? Because when you have sugar cane, you don't actually swallow it. You chew it and then you spit out the wood. Anyone ever chewed sugar cane? You eat it inside of the Yeah, yeah, and then you spit it out. It's like wood. It feels like wood and you spit it out. If you drive ever in the, in the, around Brooklyn, you have these guys. Down yeah, they sell them in the side of the cars. So... Um, so uh, so I, I mentioned the other day that I stopped by one of these guys and asked him if he can give me a piece. It was delicious. And the guy refused to take money from me. So Shmulek tells me, obviously, you don't understand what the real business here is. The real business is not sugar cane. There's something else in the truck that uh, that's the real business. The few canes standing outside, the, no. dollar, the two dollars mm -hmm. that you're offering him is Yashakaya You didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for the bag. <laughs> If I'd asked for the bag, you're not going to share it's, my property. Right, right, right. It's sugar. It's it's sugar coated. The other stuff is sugar coated. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I I thought that this guy is selling sugar. What neighborhood? Um, yeah, you know, some of it. Didn't usually. And uh, the guy, the guy was very happy. He cut it for me, and he oh, it was delicious, delicious. Um. But the but you don't swallow it. You, you chew, you chew, you chew, you spit it out. So the Mishnah Buddha says that. The, so that's the three opinions. The first opinion says it's it's a it's a tree. Right, it Second opinion says, but you're not eating the fruit of the tree. You're eating the tree. Right, it And then Amam says, but you're spitting it out, so it falls down to the shahakal. He wants to say, but uh, but but therefore the hearts of palm. Everyone would agree the bracha is right, it and that's where the vezaisa bracha. In his brachet chart, he lists that hearts of palm as bayri pri adam. Okay, I, I respectfully disagree and would like to learn together the Gemara. First, I would say that I have a raya for him. The fadish at Why do you have to go to Mishnah Berurah? I said the fadish edition in the Gemara, the Toisus Sidi, and there are the both star to shine him. There are is a contemporary of the Rajma. And uh, the Toisus Sidi is considered one of the first Baliyat Toisus. Why do you have to go to Mishnah Berurah? I have for you a buffet of Sharia from two Dishonim. Why do you have to go to Mishnah Bruder? But after I'll bring the Raya from the Ra and the and the and the and, and the Tosh City, they'll show why it's not a Raya. Skip the next uh, paragraph, the third, and let's go to the fourth paragraph. 
in the, in the first page. It says in the Gemara, Kuda. Sometimes it's good to, when you have, that's why I like to print out, when you see Oasis Machimus, oh. So uh, when you have Oasis Machimus, you look at the Gemara. The Gemara says like this, Kuda, hearts of palm. The Yehuda Oimer, Beide Pri Adom, Shmuel Oimer, Shmuel Omar, Shahakul Nia Bidvari. The Yehuda Oimer, Beide Pri Adom, why is it Beide Pri Adom? A Pedo, it's a Pedo. Shmuel Omer, Shahakul Nia Bidvari. Hoyal Besoyfe Lahakshis, because later it's going to become a piece of wood. It's going to later going to become a piece of wood. The same Gemara is brought in Edevin, and over there, the, the Gisa is that a Yehuda Oimer, Beide Pri Adom, Oichlohu. Not peiru oichlo, which in a way makes a lot of sense. The, the gears are oichlo. Shmuel says it's a piece of wood, so he says no, it's not a piece of wood. It's a piece of food. So what's the question? The question is like the malachim argued that maybe they should kill Yishmuel when he was sick. The malachim said, look where he's going to be at Russia tomorrow. David just said we don't look at tomorrow, we look at today. Right so that seems to be the machloek is that Yehuda and Shmuel, we look at today or we look at tomorrow. Today, it's, it's Oichla, but tomorrow it's going to be a piece of wood. So that's the question. We look at today or we look at tomorrow. Do we look, is it Oichla or is it Eitz? Omele Shmuel, Rabbi Yehuda, Shmuel turned to Rabbi Yehuda and said, Shinana, you sharp one. Kavasach Mastavra. I think you're right. <laughs> it sounds like at this point, he changed his opinion. He said, you know, I thought about it. You're right. I thought about it. You're right. I'm wrong. What's why? The hot snowing, radish. Grows under the ground. If you leave it in the ground, it becomes like a piece of wood. And still, why was a bracha bere priyadam? Because even though tomorrow it will turn into a piece of wood, but today it's a radish and it's edible. So, come on, it says, when you're eating it, when it's a piece of wood, it's still edible. That's what the Gemara is saying, that he said that since, so what even edible? though tomorrow. today. Then it's a dumba. If you eat it tomorrow when it's a piece of wood, then it's something else. Yeah, exactly. So, that's what he said. That's what Shmuel said. Veloi, the Gemara said, that's not, that's not, don't bring me the story of it's noin. It's noin is not a, there's not a point here. Why? It's noin, not to inchi adapted the pugla. So, the das or the farmer who plants radishes, it's because he wants a vegetable called pugla, which is radish. Dikla, loy not to inchi adapted the Buddha. When the person plants a dikla tree, it wasn't. Because he wanted to have hearts of palm, he wanted to have a tree. So then the Gemara goes into the whole thing. It will go quickly. And if that wasn't the das of the person, you don't make a brachet. If it's laugh, but the caper tree, the not in the shadata the parcha that people want the capers. But none, and we still learn the Mishnah mini natspa, which is a caper tree. Allah olam alat modest on the leaves and the buttons. I am a very pretty adam. Allah biyain is vakaprisin. And which is the actual capers and the shells of the capers. I'm a better priya eats. I'm a nachim yitzchak tzlaf, not the inner shadai to the shooter. When a person plants a tzlaf tree, he wants to have the fruit of it. The way Rashi, most of the Shainim explains. So there are the most important fruit that comes off the caper tree, which is the actual capers that you buy today in little jars that pickle them. And that's delicious and very great. And then the secondary fruits that comes off the tree, which is these little buttons and leaves, which uh, today is not so popular, and uh, and that's very priyadoma. But dikla loy not the shinish adai to the kuda. No one has a mind. No farmer when he plants the dikla wants the kuda. The Gemara concludes after of the kalsi shmuel of the yuda. Even though shmuel praised the yuda, hilchas like if I say the shmuel, the aloch is like shmuel. So even though. It seems that Shmuel changed his mind and he disagreed to Rabbi Yehuda, but Allah is like Shmuel, which is an unusual thing. He, he, he changed his mind and, and, and they said, I don't care you change your mind. Allah is going to be like you even if you change your mind. Because of the Toysa Siddi, the Toysa Siddi writes, what when the Gemara says, that Rabbi Yehuda says that the Kud is Bairi Priyadama, Peiru Sheri Ulach Achsha Bekim Shagufa Ilon Oich Omavarech O Adama. What is the Toysa Siddi saying? Toysa Siddi has a problem. According to the Behuda, why is it Bayer Priya Dhamma? It's a tree. It should be Bayer Priya Aits. It should be Bayer Priya Aits. Why is it Bayer Priya Dhamma? It should be Bayer Priya Aits. It's a tree. So, uh, so the answer is because you're not eating the fruit off the tree, you're eating the actual tree. And that's the way that it all also says. So, Lechayda, the Vazoy Sabrach is right. He didn't have to go to Mishnah Brura. There's two big Rishayim that say this. The thing is like this. 
that if you read the Rosh, the Rosh writes like this, next line. Kosova Rosh, Shmuel Amash Akalni Bidvari, Shmuel Sech Akalni Bidvari, Hoyal Vesoifel Akshis, because it's later going to become wood, began for a second reason. Loin not the Inish Adaita Lamech Kude, no one planted the tree in order to eat the Kude. According to, in other words, the Rosh holds that Shmuel had two reasons why the hearts of Kam became Shaak. Number one, tomorrow is going to be a piece of wood. And number two, Farmer Joe has smoke coming out of his ears. It's an unusual thing for a, a Tano and Amoida to have two reasons for his aloha. Whenever you have two reasons, you always ask, uh, well, why would you need two reasons? If you have a reason, it's good. You don't need two reasons. You don't need ten reasons. You need one reason. To make your point, you never need more than one reason. When you see someone's making a point and he gives two reasons, you know there's a problem with the first reason, and that's why he's giving a second reason. Right? That's the one one that when the Rashi, the, you know, the way the Rebbe's Mahalak, when Rashi, Rebbe Rashi gives two pirushim. Like tonight, we're going to learn a beautiful Rashi Sikha about the story of Nois Lovka. Rashi gives two explanations. Obviously, if Rashi has to give two, the first one he wasn't happy with. And he had a problem with the first one, therefore he needed a second. So that's, um, and then that's uh, a given. The second thing is, it's very, if you read the Gemara, what do you mean? Rabbi Yehuda said, Rabbi Shmuel said that it's Shahakul because because the farmer Joe has smoke coming out of his ears, but the Gemara is the one that invented that Siba, because okay, he turned around and he said to, to his friend, you know, you're right. Uh, radishes, today it's a radish, tomorrow it's wood, so you're right. The Gemara says, no! What are you talking about? But that's the das of why the person planted it. So obviously, Shmuel didn't think of that. Obviously, Shmuel didn't think of it. So how could the Rosh say that the when the when the, when the uh, Shmuel said that the Baruch is Shakal and Bidvara is because Parma Joe's smoke is coming out of his ears, Lava He didn't think of this reason. How could you say that that was his reason? So my brother, learning together with him, the Sugya had a Abir Nifla on this. Abir Nifla. Abir Hafla Vatel. Abir Nifla. And it goes well in the words of the Gemara. In general, we know in Baruchis that sometimes when, you, when you're less choshev, you get back down. But you don't throw him down a whole flight of stairs at once. If, if he loses choshivas, you knock him down one level at a time. That's a golden rule in Baruchis. If he loses choshivas, he goes from eight to Adam. He lost a little more choshivas, he goes down to Shahak. He's unedible, no brach. But you don't overnight knock him down, unless there's a good reason. But you don't overnight knock him down from a eights to no brach. You always go down one step at a time. Unless there's a reason why you knock him down, you throw him totally out. But usually you go down one step at a time. Usually you go one step at a time. So according to the Rosh, Rabbi Yehud and Shmuel both understood that there is two issues at play. Today it's, wood, it's fruit, tomorrow it's wood. And then what is Farmer Joe thinking? So Shmuel said, the Rabbi Huda said that, uh, that we look at today. We don't look at tomorrow. So never mind. Don't talk to me about that. The fact that the Farmer Joe is angry that you cut the Kuda, so it fell down one level. It's Vayri Priyadama. Shmuel says, no, Shahak will need a because there's two problems. There's two problems. The problem that the, the Das of the farmer, he's angry, knocked it down to Adam. And the fact that tomorrow is going to be a piece of wood, knocked it down to a Shahak. And, and then and the Gemara says, no, it's not true. The Das of the farmer, if the farmer has smoke coming out of his ears, it doesn't knock it down one level. It knocks it down two levels. True, if the farmer is not like the leaves on the slop tree, then it falls on one level. And that's why the Gemara, when the Gemara says the Allah is like Shmuel, even though Shmuel changed his mind, is because the Gemara is basically saying the Allah is like what you said originally, but not for your reason. He thought that um, when the farm, there's only two levels. The farmer is happy, it's a, the farmer is not happy or angry, it's Adama. The Gemara holds <coughs> three levels. If the farmer is happy, it's a hate. If he's not so happy, it's a doma. If he's angry, it's a shahak. Okay, so if that's the pshat, so now, uh, now that the Gemara said in the Maskana, so, so now we understand why the Behuda said, again, the Toys for Sarid was trying to figure out it's a tree, according to the Behuda. So why did Behuda say it's a doma? So Toys for Sarid said, ah, oh, he said it's a doma because when you eat the actual tree, it becomes a doma. But the Rosh doesn't hold that way. The Rosh holds that, uh, that uh, the reason it came out is because the farmer is angry. The Behuda says it falls down one level. 
But we paskin of the farmer as angry, it falls down two levels. If he's happy, it's eights. If he's not so happy, it's a uh, dumb. If he's angry, it's a shahaku. With this, we can understand uh, uh, a peladika thing, which is a question that's asked by the Mishnah Bruh. The Taz says about sugar <coughs> that uh, any person that is a Yiddish Shemayim and has the possibility, 20 Allah, before you eat a candy, before you eat anything of sugar, you should take an apple and make goyde priya eats and have in mind the candy. No one does it today. And the Alter Rebbe, the Paskins, that sugar is 100% shahaka. But that's the Alter Rebbe's opinion. If you follow the Alter Rebbe, sh- candy is shahaka, no question, hands down, there's no, that's it. But if you follow the Shulchan Aruch, the Mishnah Baruch brings Taka, the Taz, that a Yiddish Shemayim, before he eats a candy, is going to make a Bode Priya eight on an apple and have a mind to be Yitz also the candy. In other Yiddish Shemayim, it's not only Yiddish Shemayim, it's any person, any person that could do it. So the Mishnah Bruder asks, wait a minute, you should also tell a person to take a piece of tomato or potato or cucumber because there is an opinion that a candy is Bode Adama. And if you made of Aitz and Adama, you're not Yitzah. He said, I don't understand. So why did the Taz say that you should, it would have been better for the Taz to say that if before you eat a candy, a Yiddish Shemayim should have a cucumber. And then make Adama, and then for sure you cover the candy. And he sleeves with the Tzarechian, he says it's a big Tzarechian, can't understand the Taz. So, Demis is, the answer is very simple. The question is a pretty good question. The answer is simple. The answer is simple. The answer is quite simple. Um, the, 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 this is, the Taz is based on the tour. The tour brings the three opinions about sugar. If it's very pretty, it's very pretty, Adama Shahak. And he says, because this, it can't be shahaka. So how can it be shahaka? The whole reason why this tree is planted is to get the sugar. So how can it be shahaka? It has to be your eight. Wait a minute. The, 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 someone should ask the two, or wait a minute. But, but for your logic, it could also be Adama. Because you're eating the actual tree. I understand it was planted for this reason. But why should it be eight? Maybe it should be Adama. Obviously, the two in his mind never thought that if you eat the actual tree, it falls down to be Adama. In his mind... That was Bechlal not an argument. He, that was Bechlal not an argument. He disagreed with the Toys for Sadiq. He never thought that that's an argument because he learned the Gemara differently, Lagabi Kuda. What Kuda fell down, according to the Yehuda, to Adam is not because you're eating the actual tree. So we see that the, the, and the Rosh didn't hold of it, and the Tur didn't hold of it. And the, 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 the Tur was the son of the Rosh. The Tur was the son of the Rosh. So he always followed his father, unless it's a Yoyitz Menachlal. That's why. The Taz said, we, we in general in the Shulchan Aruch, we follow the Rosh and the Tur. We very much follow them. So because they didn't think that if you eat the actual tree, that the, the bracha falls down to Adama. So therefore, if sugar cane is planted, it so it's Adama is not an opinion. Who decided that Adama is an opinion? Those Goinim that say when you eat the actual tree, it falls down to Adama. I don't hold of that, says the Rosh and the Tur. That's not a valid opinion. Forget about that opinion. In Brachas, we don't always that. follow every single opinion. Shulchan Aruch, a lot of times, when we talk about Garinim, we make a uh, Garinim, the Brach of the fruit. But the Rajba says, if you don't make it. We do make We don't always follow every, not Choshish for every edition and Achim that there is. You know, me and you, when we don't, when in doubt, we make the lower Brach. Me and you don't know how to learn. So we always, when in doubt, we see two Poiskim. One says, I eat Saddam, we make Adam. One says, Adam and Shach, we make Shach. But the uh, Rabbi Yosef Cairo, when he saw two opinions, he didn't always say, oh, you know, he had a mind of his own, and he passed him. So when the Shrosh and the Tur, they heard the Shittas of going when you eat the actual tree, it falls down. They said, nonsense. They said, it's nonsense. If it's a tree, the Baruch is the Priyo eats. So in their mind, the only possibility for sugar is Shahakal or eats. Adam is, give me Adam. It's a tree. What do you tell me Adam? It, it's not a possibility. It's the Rosh doesn't bring it, the Tur, and the Taz doesn't bring it. And that answers the Shaila of the Mishnah Brura. That's why the Alter Rebbe doesn't bring it. The Alter Rebbe in the Shulchan Aruch, when he talks about sugar, says, Aitz or Shahakal. He never brings that dumb. There's an unbelievable napkamina for this. It says that the, 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 the Abish there the, the punished the trees because he told the trees that the, the, the time of the Aitz should be the same as the time of the Paid. And the Aitz didn't listen. When Mashiach is going to come, every tree, when you're going to eat the fruit, you can also take a piece of wood and yeah. it's going to have the same taste as the fruit. Wow. 
That's Mashiach has come. Every tree, you can take a piece of the wood and chew it. Delicious. Orange. Oh, oh. So the Shaila is what's going to be the bracha when Mashiach comes? Very important. It's very important to know. Cinnamon. The Zabazach. The cinnamon I spoke yesterday. I want to leave it outside because that's the real reason why they plant it. So, um, so, so, Nagayla Mais. So, I think that it's clear that Taz ignored this idea of Adama. And the two ignored it. And his father, the Rosh, ignored it because they didn't think that that was the reason that Amihuda said that a Kuru tree should fall down to Adama. No. What's the difference? Eat the fruit from the tree of the tree. If it's a, if it's a eight, it's by the tree of eight. What's the difference? It's by the tree of eight, it's by the tree of eight. The only reason why the Buddha thought that a Kuda falls down to Adama is because the farmer is angry. But we hold when the farmer is angry, he falls shahakal. But if the farmer is happy, the Baruch is by the Priya 8. 100% by the Priya 8. So therefore, in, I think that's clear beyond any doubt that the uh, hearts upon today, the Baruch is by the Priya 8. Because why would you say it's Adama? Because there were Goenim that said when you eat the actual tree, it falls down to Adama. But that Goenim have the right to say that. But the Rosh doesn't hold that way. The Tur doesn't hold that way. The Taz doesn't hold that way. The Altarebbe doesn't hold that way. So I don't understand. And the Prima Godim also, the Prima Godim says that if a person, if some farmers, if the farmer is not angry that you cut it, it's Adama. It's Mashma if the farmer is happy. It's right. And the Prima Godim is one of the most important points can we follow. So therefore, how could how could and this guy forgot to mention the Prima Godim says the can of uh, hearts upon they're very happy. They're very happy. They're fine when they sell right. the can. So the only reason to say it will fall down is because you're eating the actual tree. But that's nonsense. The Goinim held that way. They just read held that way. They're oh, but we don't pass him that way. The tour didn't hold that way, the Rosh didn't hold the Taz and the Alta Rebbe doesn't bring that way. That's why the Gabi sugar cane, he brings the eights and chocolate, he doesn't bring the opinion of Adama. Why what what's the logic to say sugar cane is Adama? Because he's eating the actual tree. And the Alter Rebbe doesn't bring that opinion, and the Taz doesn't bring that opinion, and the Rosh doesn't bring that opinion. The Tur doesn't. Why don't they bring that opinion? Because they don't hold it to that opinion. They hold it. What nonsense! What's the difference if you eat the apple or the apple tree? As long as it's tasty, it's very prior eights. And therefore, the hearts of palm was a hundred percent very prior eights, beyond any single doubt. And uh, I invite everyone to join us. Just and to and, and Rabbi, yeah. No, the Alter Rebbe holds Shahakal 100% Shahakal. The Alter Rebbe Paskins that way. There's other opinions. No, because the Derech is to eat it with a fork. So you don't have to wash Lachayda. Which really delicious pass around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank um, I have to talk about that smoothie. It's a, it, it was the actual piece of uh, watermelon. Yeah, look like it's better for your dama. Someone asked me a question about he want he has his palace. He uh, he just got married. He he, he came to base Menachemendel last week. He's married uh, three weeks. And um, it was a Chabad family, and they bought him a talus. And, a talus. and the talus in the inside, the Chabad doesn't have an atara. The talus in the inside is silk piece in the top. There's a silk piece in the top. And he says he's wearing silk, silk of silk. And you know what happens, silk on silk? That's why you see Lubavitch's in the shul. Whenever you see in Shabbos, they're always playing with the talus. Why are they always playing with the talus? Because it's always slipping. Silk on silk. Silk on silk is very slippery. So he said, I want to change it. I want to change it to, to, uh, to, could I put Velcro? Or alternatively, could I put it wool? Could I change it to wool? Because it's, it's very hard. So the truth is, um, th there is an eight set. The Chabad has this thing, the minic Chabad is that the part of the talus that shows is only the white. And you, you fold in. So therefore, what happens to be on your shoulders is the wool, and uh, and therefore it doesn't it doesn't end up being so slippery. The problem is when you dive in, then it unfolds, and that's when it gets slippery again. So that's why you'll see that Lubavitch is always going like this. Shabbos folding in the talus that makes it it shouldn't slip. But the person asked me a question, 
So I, it's a gishmake question. So I figured the Vaila will talk about what's the, why is this the Minik Chabad and what's... Okay, turn the page. There's a, a Rosh Yeshiva of one of the big Rosh Yeshivas in Yeshiva's Torah of Adas. Zarav Rifkin, Zechroinah Lebroch. Rav Gideon Rifkin, Zechroinah Lebroch, was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was the, in the Torah of Adas many years at Rosh Yeshiva, and he was also giving smicha. So to give the class that did smicha. And he wrote on Mikvos, and he wrote on, uh, no, not Mikvos, he wrote Ashkafta de Rebbe. He wrote, he wrote, it's very seen, a lot of, yeah. But he wrote a beautiful sefer called Ashkafta de Rebbe because he was there for the last month of the life of the Rebbe Rashab, Zeich Tzadik and he was to every, every, if the, if the Rebbe Rashab coughed twice, he has our order up, <laughs> bringing from Mishoinim and Acheroinim, wow. everything. It's unbelievable. It's one safer that's unique. There's a letter at the end published from Yosha Bezalelashi. He said he never saw such a thing in a life, such a safer. The one, no, in the, it's burning of chassidus, and the top it's like a chosid and a zerebe, and the bottom it's the very cold, calculated lukvish. You know, uh, it was the in in poverty. Yeah. So he writes, huh? So. Let's talk. The Ashkaf the Rebbe says like this. The Ashkaf the Rebbe says it was a story. Why is it the Chabad doesn't have the minik to have a Torah and the Talas? The, the, the minik Ashkenaz has to have a nice crown on the thing. Why is it that Chabad minik is not? So he says that there was a story. That's Makubal. What's the story? That the days of the Alta Rebbe, they came to arrest him. Tov Kuf Nuntez. That is 210 years ago. And Chagasukis, and then the Chassidim needed a lot of money to help redeem the Alter Rebbe. And at the end, there was a big ula, but they needed money immediately. So everyone took the the, the silver ah okay. oh, Torah off their talus and sold it. And the money they collected, and from that they had the money to work on the uh, on the issues to help the Alter Rebbe. But because they already took it off, and even though it was a nest, Alter Rebbe came out of jail. Mosecher, the nice, the ready roll took off the, the Atoras. It stayed the minute Chabad is not to have a Torah on the Talas. Rabbi Rifkin says that this is a little bit of a Shvachet time to say, because why didn't they bring it back on if it is a reason to have a Torah? So, what's the reason for those that have a Torah on the Talas? What's the reason? What's the idea of a Torah on the Talas? There's three reasons for it. Three reasons for the minute to have a Torah on the Talas. Read from the second paragraph. Kosova Shalot, the Shalot writes, Binyan and Ochaz Atalas, Roish, Ois and Sitzis, Shabor, Lerishana, Batsada Roish, Eloilam, Batsada Roish, Kimish, Zochilis, Lamaila, Ein Roish, Shayordel, Melmalosan, Valkem, and Hogim, Lassus, Ateris, Tiperis, Lahekish, Shehelik, Roish, Loyach, Lipen, and Loyom Rosa, El Yonim, Lamata, Batachtain, and Lamaila. Love his language. Verai Ladover, Mimida Minam, Yosham, Via Aran, Gabimashom, Rachma, Mishnan, Shakois, and Karsha, Mishan, laid the Aza Ben Zugi. And the Gemara says in Yerushalmi Yom Rebami, be kamoises a mishkot kamishpot and chiyesh mishpot laitzim alakeres shezochim and nasa metzofi and nasa metzofi and oil and mechim bedarim and nasa bedarim. The fikah chroishim alayim. Ein zeh matzosim lo maril bil chasukah shero adavim marash. Hey mesamim adapim lo mechitz chasukah alav beis gimel today lead us say the medosim shaladoshanas meshana loshana. Fascinating Yerushalmi that the uh, the one of the thirty nine malachas is writing. When did they write in the Mishkan? They used to write. On the Kroshim, on the bottom, they used to write Allah Beis Gimel to know when they come to the next place how to set up the Kroshim. And when they got to the next place, they used to erase it. They used to take chalk and used to write Allah Beis Gimel Dalad. And it's not nice when you put it up to have chalk on it. So when they got there, they erase it. That's the Moloch of Koisim and Why do they have to write one, two, three, four? What's Nagaya? You have 50 identical pieces and they click into each other. What's the difference? It's not like my sukkah that over time it gets bent. So you need to write one, two, three, because you need to know one, you know, one. They were, in the base of Mikdash, everything was exact and perfect. So each one clicked into the other one regardless. The Yushalmi says, they re, they, the reason they wrote Allah Beit Gimel is because if a Kerish was Zoychet to be in Tzavban, he has to always stay in Tzavban. It's not fear that now he's put in Dara. Because Tzavban has a certain Mila. And he always has to stay in Tzav. And he was Kaddish number one. He always has to be Zoycha to be Kaddish number one. Unbelievable thing. It's a piece of wood. Does he have any feelings? 
It's a piece of wood. Have feelings. He's insulted. Well, My it's dog. It's a stone. If if a piece of wood, we have to be respectful to a piece of wood for his feelings. Kolchkin, we should be concerned for the feelings of another human being. The wood might not have feelings, but another human being does have feelings. A cat is shazochil in us and betzofen. Who says to be betzofen? And he says that Maril says he noticed that his rabbi, after Sukkis, always would write on the kroshim Allah Beis Gimel to make sure that next year, that the piece of wood that was zochet to be by the by the front always has to be zochet to be in the front. Otherwise, the piece of wood will be insulted. Not nice. The the Chassam Soifer says the same thing with the bima. If the bima was zochet to be in a certain place, you have to leave it there. Because otherwise you're insulting the carpet and the wood that's under that place. It was Zoichet to say, Petoyed is sitting there. Now he's not Zoich anymore. Not nice. The Madame Sheik brings in the truth of the same thing, the Atzechaim. Whatever is on the right has to stay on the right. The left has to stay on the left. When the Soifer later takes, takes off, the, for example, you do a computer check or the Soifer is checking, worked on the Torah, and he takes off the Atzechaim, he has to take a chalk and write, You mean? Smile. He has to write it on the on the Atze Chaim, and later when he puts it back, erase erase it. Unbelievable concept. So says the Shalah, the same thing, the Talus. The part that's <laughs> to be in your head had a schus to be on your head. Now you can't turn the tzitzis around. So we have to have an Atoro to remember which part of your head it was on. Unbelievable. The Lavush brings another reason. Let's read it inside. Lavush says, I mean a glass Atoro. He says a different reason. What's the reason? Don't think the main thing is that Torah. Don't so, so from his words, it seems that uh, that, that it's uh, it's because there's a special uh, tznius over here, and he finishes off minig yofa ba'artzes ay yishmaelim that the yisvar dem ain oisim atoras latalisas laharish ain ikar nas lakach lachas arish beif ben zeh upotum etzitzes. I don't know if today the svardim. Today I see a lot of svardim that do here. that do have a Torah. But could be there's different svardim, and could be some svardim don't realize that their minig is not to do it. They go into Jude, they go into Taichus. They don't know what their minig is. I don't know. But the Lugush said that the minig is svardim <laughs> is not to have no, not to have a Torah. Why is the minig is svardim not to have a Torah? So he explains. Because if you're going to have a Torah, it looks like the main thing is that Torah. That Torah. And then it would be part of from tzitzis. The only way a beggar is chayef with tzitzis is if it's made not only to cover your head, but to cover roiv of your body. But if it's a big scarf, like Rechmon Litzlan and the conservative reform and even some ortho, uh, conservative rules, the modern orthodox rules, when you come in and they have the talus rack and they have cute talisim, mm-hmm. that, uh, that the, the, the sheet of the talus is not lachasis, it's a roiv aguf. It barely, it barely is a uh, barely make uh, ma- is enough for a scarf. So besides all the other avedas that they're doing, they're causing that the uh, that the tzimimis the Jews that are going in there make a brach levatolo. It's a brach levatolo. That it's a scarf. It's a scarf. A scarf is part of not tzitzis. Scarf is part of not kaya But what what's with the the tali that's that's in the in those uh, these places? It's. I know. I'm. I'm. I'm it's why, why are they possible? Why are they possible? Because in order to be high vitzitzes, the begin has to be made for the purpose of covering majority of your body, and it has to be big enough to cover most of your body. A, they're too small. They wear it like a B. They wear it as a scarf. So two problems. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so those talesim, they're potamatsitsis. And therefore, when a person puts it on and makes a bracha, it's mega brach levatolo. Mega brach levatolo. Okay, so, but here the Labush is saying that the, the, that the, uh, that the Svardim, they don't have the minig ashkenaz to put a fancy atoro. Why? Because they're concerned that people will, ah, the main thing is the part of the head. 
And the rest is just a gavurcha. So if in their mind it's a scarf, a big scarf, it's potom and atzitzis. So therefore the svardim dafke don't make a Torah for their talis. He says that Ashkenazim do make because they, they're not scared that people will forget why they're wearing the leather. And, and there's a special chashivas, the Gemara says, the the that those that are noyeg minig at also cover their head with the talus. Also cover, again, today, in, uh, if you go into most modern orthodox shuls, it's not cool to put the talus over your head. But the, the Gemara says, minig at is to put the talus over your head. So that's, uh, that, that's minig at to cover to cover your head with the talus. It's a minig at so that's what mini chassidim is to wear the talus over your head. So you shouldn't think it's chassidim shaminik that started in Legends two hundred years ago. It's chassidim shaminik that started in Bavel about two thousand years ago. <laughs> and uh, and and uh, and uh, the Labush writes that that's the reason why they make a torah because the I because you don't have to cover your head as long as you cover most of your goof it's good, but because covering your head is a minik tzniyus. So that's why the Ashkenazim make a beautiful atara on their head to emphasize the minigat sneeves. So, by the way, if you see an Ashkenazi that has a talus and instead of that atara on his head, it's on the shoulders, you should remind him that he's doing the opposite of the minig. The whole reason why they're putting a beautiful atara on the talus, according to the Lavush, is in order to remind you, the minig sneeves, that you should keep the talus on your head and not putting it because so heavy so you make a lighter one they should make a lighter one you should make a lighter oh we got to oh we talk you. about the tower with the towers oh wow wow <laughs> so that's so that's that's the, the second reason the third reason what about so the whole yeah, issue yeah. Your, the palace is probably bought by by the father-in-law or the, the and it is that's that's going there so then it, it comes into okay, Talmud the, also. In well, if he, he wears it on his head, no one's going to complain if he wears no, it on his head. The person doesn't oh. want that far up, but then he buys it. Oh, the person that asked me it. was the opposite. He has a Lubavitcher father-in-law, he bought him a Lubavitcher talus without a Torah, just the silk in the inside, and he wants to change it from silk to wool. That was the question. I'll get to that in a second. And so you put outside the No, that wasn't him. It's a different cost. Okay, a third a third reason is brought in the Shiori Knesak Dailo, that he brings the reason of the Lavush and the and he says, Lumadini Bekiv and Masem Tfeminan, Vain Aimir and Lamisha Loyro, Sachoidish Yove Vioid. Svadim, the way they write, Svadig Dirli Sro, they had such a beautiful way of writing. They're like, they're, 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 you know, like, was like so beautiful. They, they just really had a way of, a, a way with words. Again, Lumadini Bekiv and Masem Tfeminan. If those Ashkenazim think that they're Boki more than us, we're learning to the Kiddush and we finished yesterday. So, you know, these people don't know better, so we're not going to argue with them. He said that the, the Ashkenazim are poor people, not like the Svadim who can afford to buy a new talus every couple of years. The Ashkenazim are, are very poor, by and large, it's true, for hundreds of years. And, uh, and uh, they buy a talus, the father buys them a talus and he wears it for the next 80 years. So on the head, it's going to get ripped eventually. <laughs> so the Chachila, they put an extra piece of cloth inside in order it shouldn't get ripped. So that's just practical. My, my, my wife, her, her, my, my wife, her Zayda was a tailor. Tailor from Europe. He was from, uh, not, uh, the, uh, she was from Krakow. He was from, from if I guess, uh, no, right now. No, he wasn't from Krakow. She was from Krakow. He was from another town right next to Krakow. Forgetting right now the name. And, um, he and he, he came, no. He came. He, he came to America. He came to America, and they, they, they and uh, he is. He came with one thing to America with the talus that his father-in-law gave. Him. Wow! And he asked me. He asked me. No, the film was his own. His father-in-law bought him a talus. 
And he asked me that I should remember that uh, when, when he passes away, that he should be buried in that house. And I made sure that, uh, because he already had liquidated his apartment and he was living in a, in a home in, the, in Williamsburg. Uh, so I made sure to, to go to his apartment and to find that talus. And I made sure he got buried in that talus. But like it was very important to him. And the, by then was the, the talus he got from your father or more. The talus he got from your father. So well, this is the talus I got from my father. I'll make sure I get, he wanted to, I should make sure that he gets buried in his father or talus. So in those days, they wore a talus. Ashkenazim wore a talus for 80 years. So they put in a piece of cloth to preserve it, that it shouldn't get ruined. So we have here three reasons for the minic Ashkenazim. One is, so you always remember which part that you shouldn't end up wearing the talus. Lamaila, lamata, lamata, lamaila. The other is, to because to remind you that to keep the, the, the talus on your head, and not only on your shoulders, like, uh, like a lot of people do today. And the third reason is Pasha, to preserve it for a long time. But on the other hand, there are those that argue, because they say that now you can't make a brach on it, because maybe in your mind it's a scarf. Look in the last paragraph. Shara Kavonis Reb Chaim Vital writes, Da She'ein la hakbit la niach simen betalus losem tamet betzad echem shalat talus alarosh k'moy shenoyeg and Ashkenazim k'ein shodesh l'minig zeh. The Ashkenazim have no that, that there's no shodesh for the minig Ashkenazim the, the, and the and then furthermore he writes the shuchna that he's a it's complicated was he a smart Ashkenazim? I don't know. But that's the way he writes. And the shuchna rachad he's al tzitzis oischav writes. My Rebbe did not wear a Torah in his talus. And the Orach HaShulchan writes, Take, Yeish HaYisim HaTorah Shal Kesar B'Rosh HaTalus HaMunach HaLaRosh V'Ene Kedai. The Bazen Nira the Ikro Masha HaLaRosh O'Bemes Ikro Masha HaGuf L'Chein Yesh Noyegim Etam Zeh Losom HaTorah Shal Kesar B'Emtza HaTalus Avo Gam Zeh Ene Kedai V'Rabbi Mekdoi L'Moyna Mesatsum V'Zeh V'Chein Nochim L'Azma Shalo Yeh B'Talus Rak Tzema Mala Kesar V'Zeh B'Talus What Mita Ma Anga Hak Kesar V'Zeh B'Talus the mitzvah is tzemet. Then he says, okay. The Ashkaf the Rebbe writes, the Ashkaf the Rebbe writes, beautiful svara. He says that Arizal wasn't concerned about the Kedish that goes on, the, because the Kedish, is, there was 50 different Prosh. So if you put this Kedish and you change it, so he'll be insulted. But the talus is one talus. So what's the difference if it's the top is in the bottom and the bottom? It's one talus. It's one talus that says dashkaf to the Rebbe. It's, it's a svara. It's one talus. There's a safe Adni Paz. It's a beautiful svara. He says that all the rocks were, were, were fighting. Who will have the schus that Yaakov Vina should put his head on the, on, on the rock? What did the Abish do? He made a miracle. What happened? Well, the rock came into one. All the rocks came into one. But still, what's the difference? But on that one rock, He's still putting his head on one part of the rock. So why were they not complaining now? Why are they not complaining? Is the Chariah that one once is the Chariah that once you're 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 that once you're uh, one one thing it's not a third one thing. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. But fourth, he's saying it's not mamish like a kedish. Um, you see, that's the thing with people. When people feel separated from each other, so if someone else is successful, I'm jealous of them. But if if we really felt how the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, that we are really one soul, and only our bodies are separated. So if you see another Jew is successful, he made a good shidduch for his daughter, you come, you dance, you're so excited, you're so happy. You hear he made a million dollars, you make three million, you're even more happy. He has COVID, you're even more happy. Shalom Bayes makes you even more happy. Ah, I'm so happy. This guy, he's he's good. Uh, Mashenke and if me and him are two separate crush, me and him are two separate rocks. He's making good shiduchim. He's making money. He's healthy. He's wealthy. He's happy. And I'm miserable. I become more miserable because he's doing well. So, so that happens when you're a separate rock. But if you become one together, if we all become one rock, we become ba'achus, then why would I be upset that, 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 that the tzaddik is, if I, I, I'm a separate rock, 
So there's, there's one rack, the other rack. So one rack is jealous of the other rack. But if all the racks become one, why would you be jealous? Why would you be jealous? Another ye? Aren't you excited? If you make a shidduch for one child, right? You don't say, oh, I'm jealous of the first child. The second child, I didn't make yet a shidduch. You're happy? The first, Baruch Hashem, we married off a few children. Now we have to marry this child. You're jealous? Not shy to be jealous. I'm jealous. Baruch Hashem. You say, oh, we, get, we, we knock two, three off the list. Baruch Hashem. Two children, three children. They're married. They're parnosah, shalom bayis. Everything's good. Now we have to deal with this one. You never say you're jealous. Why are you being jealous? It's your own children. So if we ever felt a Klal Yisrael Ba'achtus that way, like one rock, so why would we be paket? We'd be happy to see there's a, every year that has a simcha would be our simcha. So that's the that's the idea. So why should the top part of the talus be jealous of the lower part of the talus? That's that's sort of the idea of the that the answer. Lapoel Dashkafta the Rebbe says that he thinks that the Chabad minig is uh, is a is a is a shiluv that uh, that they do put a little piece of material on the inside. A, just that it should last for longer. And B, oh, for it is a shtikl chashash, that whatever's on the top shouldn't go on the bottom, and the bottom shouldn't go on the top. So, uh, but no. not to make a big tzimus of it, and put a gold or silver atora, because then there's a chashash that the, in the person's mind, this became a, 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 a the chashivas of it is the 500 or or $1,000 of the atora, and, and the talus is fifty dollars. So you know, if the talus is fifty and this is a thousand, so what's the choshen? So then, as a shailuf, it's a lot of have tzitzis mechlal. So therefore, he says he thinks that the chabad minig is sort of in the between to have alamilus to have that Izel had nothing. His talus didn't have any material on the inside. There's nothing. It was just a talus with nothing. But the chabad had sort of the apshara between the minogim to have a shtickle material by the head. So then, number one, it, it preserves the talus. Number two, Lovely. it's a little bit choshish for the idea of kerish, you know, some itself and you know, some itself. On the other hand, they not to put a gold or silver atora, so there isn't a chash on the broche on the talus. So back to the question that was asked, um, I don't think there's a difference if you put inside silk or wool. The main thing is that it's there Lovely. to remind you which side is to put it on. Lovely. However, there's another point, which is Shabbos, and by Chassidim, there was a big minute to wear big day meshi, to wear silk. Why? There's an Inyan Apikabal. It's not Chassidus, it's Inyan Apikabal, because me, uh, everything that we wear is from Doimem and Sameach. And silk is high, because Shabbos is Aliyah Sa'ilamus. Therefore, and we talk about it another time, um, it's, it's a little more expensive to buy, uh, to buy uh, big day meshi. But uh, Api Kabbalah is a thing to wear Shabbos being the Mesh and Blina. Maybe next week I'll uh, let's go to that. So that's a separate issue. But Mitzad, the Talus part, so uh, it makes no difference. Uh, the main, the, the reason the Minik Chabad is just that there should be something up shorter between the Minogim. We went a little over the time, but I just want to finish off by saying so, first of all, I just want to summarize. So, there's three reasons for those that say yay, and, and there is one reason for those that say nay. The, those that say we should have a Torah. Number one is so it, 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 the durability. Number two, it's uh, the chivus of the tznius. And number three, because the talus shouldn't cry that the last Shabbos he was oichet to be on your head, and that was the other way around. Those that say nay is they say, what do you mean? Um, th this could be a suffolk on the brach of the talus. The Baal Babach Minig is sort of upshot in between. As I said before, uh, that there's a swara to say that uh, the Kroshim are different, because each one is Schengen Atalas, is Ba'achtus. So there's 21 days in the three weeks, we're focusing on why, why was there a Khurban, and when we take away the Siba, there'll be no more Mesuba. Like we said, that's not going to help to put the cat under the oven, so if you want it to rain, you have to, you have to, it has to, if there'll be moisture in the air, the cat will go under the oven. We have to be Metakin, Zakhdar Rebbe, the Siba of the Golos, and then automatically Mashiach will come. What's the Siba of the Golos? Sinus, uh, sinus chinum. So what's going to be the tikkun of this Golas? Abbas. So if every one of us will train ourselves that uh, whenever we see a simcha by another yid, that that's going to be our simcha, that that's going to be our simcha, that another yid simcha tickles our heart. We're so 
overwhelmed with joy that another Yid made a good shidduch, that he found a parnosa, that he made some money, that he's healthy, that he's wealthy, that he has honor and glory. Bakulu, 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 bakulu. And every Yid is to us like our own child, that we never, we don't feel one child to another child. We're happy for every one of them. So with that, that's who's, that we're not feeling like separate rocks, we're not feeling like separate kroshim. We feel like we're all, all uh, strings in one fabric. We're all part of one talus. We're all mamish, one talus. So the Ebesh will help. That, that that's who the Ebesh will pick us up and be misatav in the uh, Nas as a talus, but we have Mishif. Do we have an Adoman? Do I? Oh, we have an Adoman. Okay, very good. And I'm sure that in that it's not by accident that Nimeo yeah, and sure. Teresh are the same, I have the same letters. No question. Yeah. The way Hebrew works, I, I, I believe yeah. um, there's something to it. Yes. Yeah. Right. You know, whenever they yeah. announce the Nobel Prize winners, yeah. And yeah. you know the, the Jewish press says, "Oh, the person who won the physics oh, okay. happens to be Jewish." Right. The Jewish mother, right. so everyone feels a sense of uh, you know, uh, you know, think that's uh, nice. Like twenty-three percent of all the academic Nobel prizes have been won by, um, been won by Jews, even though we're less than uh, you know a half of one. And we feel very proud about it. Yeah, yeah. true, well, true, yeah. true. Yeah. And that that shows that uh, yeah. that's a beautiful yeah. limit, school, and while you said all of it, even though yeah. no one says, "Oh, why did he?"